These people need real problems in their lives. Some of these people need to be put in a saw trap, dude. It's like, I feel like sh for giving this guy money. Imagine if you knew nothing about this and you were just scrolling through trying to piece together what's going on. Manic? Question mark? Shouldn't Brad be an inpatient at this point? I feel like he's kind of keeping the truth away a bit, but he's definitely playing fast and loose with details. I mean, well, I won't do the full break. You guys know about Brad Taste in music. Um, lots of, you know, subsequent issues with different dramas. Had to apologize for taking a picture with Ethan Klein. Um, other issues on top of that as well going forward. Um, yeah, basically, low cow meltdown, spiral situation. Welcome to Chud Nation. Thank you for the prime Yo. sub, Captain Noddle. Anyway, long story short, that's the uh, the long and short of it. I've covered it extensively. Um, I think Turkey Tom did a very good video summarizing the Brad Taster music drama. Okay. Oh, I don't think we need to go into it all. Anyway, I did speak about some of this before, so we'll just quickly run over it again. But long story short, What's up, Brad guys? Taster music put out a video, and in this video, he said that he was going to rehab. So let's just quickly run through that. It's only a minute long. So he says here he's going to rehab. What's up, guys? Uh, Bradley here, letting you know that I am going to rehab. Yep. Um, about two months. It's uh, intensive outpatient care. And I'm not going to be uploading. And if I am going to be uploading, it's going to be something, you know, either super familiar or maybe something completely different with DJing. Regardless, uh, I need a break. Um, a lot of stuff has happened in the last month that I've not handled well. Uh, I've okay. not been handling my anger well. I've not been handling controversy well. And I've kind of honestly just ended up in a really bad spot and embarrassed a lot of people because of it. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is going somewhere to essentially learn more about myself and get help so that I can uh, basically make a healthy return. So... I um, just wanted to let you know that there's going to be like, essentially, expect zero content for the next two months. So, that's all. Peace. Okay, so going to rehab, and notice the final words there. Expect no content for the next two months. Right? Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, he gave further sort of insights into this. Um, I believe he said somewhere that he had anger issues. He had some sort of addiction to some substance. But when pressed on it, he said, you know, he didn't really want to disclose. So we didn't get into it. Oh, here we go. This is it here. So he posted this image just before he left, presumably. And then said, I'll answer a few questions here. Leaving to go to rehab in an hour. I have a four day drive across the country. So another thing as well, he's going for a four-day drive across the country, going for anger management, addiction, and trauma. And then is asked, what exactly are you claiming you're addicted to? And of course, Brad, being a very private individual that never reveals anything to the world, said, I don't really feel like disclosing this at this time. I'd rather save this for an expert. <laughs> How about you don't disclose anything about your personal life? How about that? That would probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? Anyway, so off he goes on his merry little way to rehab. And in fact, he even posted an image which he claims shows his mother crashing the car. I mean, I imagine this was true. This would be a very embarrassing thing to post if you didn't have your, uh, your mum crash your car. My mum crashed my car into a fire hydrant as we were leaving to drive across the country. She duct taped the car to look cooler than it, than it was before it crashed. So anyway, I think people kind of expected him to stop posting or at least reduce the volume of his posts on social media as he entered rehab. But that didn't really happen. He just kept posting stuff, <laughs> which was a bit amusing. And because my understanding of rehab, particularly if it's, um, you know, if you're like an online figure, 
you know, I would have thought the point would be to like reduce your, your usage, even in the lead up to going to it, right? And I thought the whole point beyond just the rehab stuff is he was taking a break. He even said, don't expect any content from me for the next two months. Yeah, but he said, don't expect any content from me for the next two months, didn't he? Well, I'll show you in a sec. But anyway, look, guys, I appreciate that, you know, it's probably the kind of rehab from the sounds of it that you can come and go as you please. It's not like, uh, you know, you're under lock and key, right? But the basic point I'm making is the implication that he gave quite strongly was that he was taking a break. Now, if I took a break, generally, that would also mean taking a break from posting on X because X is part of doing this. Don't, don't you think? I mean, if you're posting on X, especially when it's stuff like this. He's posting about Turkey Tom on X, bro. <laughs> Turkey Tom might be the biggest reason why I've stopped posting and talking about drama. Whether or not that was his intention, he has helped me tremendously. Not to mention, he is keeping my name in the public as I go get help. He is literally saving my career. Please, he is doing a good thing, trust. I feel like you guys are like saying stuff about this. The implication here, he is keeping my name in the public as I go get help. What's the implication there? The implication is he's going to get help and he's not going to be posting in the public eye anymore. So why is he still posting on X? I feel like you guys are like, like, oh, no, this is perfectly normal. The whole implication, he's taking a break. He says stuff like this. The impression I'm getting is, yep, yeah, I'm leaving all of this for a little while while I go and seek help. So anyway, he's posting about Turkey Tom for some reason. Very, very unusual. I don't really understand that. Maybe he just wants to say a nice thing about him. And then he's posting these pictures. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's like he like if he's going to rehab he should get checked out for addiction to validation from his online community why are you posting stuff like this? I thought you were going away to take a break and do rehab and get yourself sorted. Why are you still posting on social media, dude? He does look a bit happier, to be fair. He does look happier than normal. So anyway, so he's posting this. He posts another picture as well. He looks a bit happier here too. Where is this, by the way? Does anyone know? Where is he? We figure out from the mountains now. Okay. And he's then he's then okay, posting. That's wonderful. But how do I make money? Hey, off the past Spencer Howard, thank you. BPD equals borderline personality disorder, affected disorder. They hand out quetiapine slash seroquel to any psychotic wretch, like candy. It's only mild by antipsychotic standards. Oh, I see. Okay. okay, that's wonderful. Thank you for the ten dollars. A musty. Thank you for the ten the bucks. People. Wait, there are so many holes in this. Outpatient isn't residential. Why is he driving there? Also, he's missing a ton of standard jargon that makes me doubt he's went anywhere. Tbh. Thank you for the ten dollars. Yeah, I mean, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but this, like, this doesn't make any sense to me. I'm going to rehab. I'm taking a break. Don't expect any content from me in two months. My mum is dropped. My mother okay, is driving wonderful. me across but country. Just take me there. Off to press people. She duct taped the car. And he's still posting throughout. Okay, There's also wonderful. the po he posted his DJ set up in a hotel he stayed at. People. At a layover type situation. Drugs across the desert on the way to rehab. I am okay, <laughs> Thank you for the $10. <laughs> so anyway, you know, he obviously also decides to strongly affirm the rights of trans people okay quoting or, or screenshotting this ronnie radke guy who's has from run-ins with being transphobic doesn't make you a rebel actually do you know what i, f I feel like that's actually 
not even true. <laughs> like, you know, trans issues are like broadly accepted by a lot of um, modern institutions, especially in America, and especially on social media. Maybe on X, arguably, you could say it's obviously not like it used to be. But, you know, fundamentally, I think there is a there is a level of rebellion with contesting some of the concepts around the gender ideology. But anyway, so he's posting about trans stuff. He's saying trans rights, basically, to his audience based based trans rights. Brad Tay says trans rights. And then just kind of random stuff like this. Just posting his thoughts about movies, which I don't think is that big a deal. I mean, this is kind of fairly standard stuff that people might post about. Whiplash and Midsommar are the same movie. Okay. So anyway, that was his kind of posting um, in between the last video we just watched and a new video that he put out, which came out on the okay, same day wonderful. of this tweet, in but fact, how do I make money the 17th of September. People. I literally do intakes at a hospital if you want a second opinion and further explanation of any of this. I can hop in Discord, but no pressure. Oh, thank you, Musty. No, it's all good, honestly. I appreciate the offer, but uh, it's all good. Thank you for the 10 bucks. But no, no, I just, you know, we don't need to prove conclusively one way or another. It just is a bit weird, you know? So anyway, he goes on. He speaks about whiplash, does the trans stuff, posts his images. And then he posts this video. Great news. 1 minute 23. This I've not seen this yet. What's up, you guys? It's Bradley here. I'm home, and I actually have some great news for you. Oh, which is really nice to be saying. Um, so, uh, after discussing it with my family and with some experts uh, in the medical field, I have decided that I am going to be doing a little bit of content online, um, and I'd like to discuss that with you, what that's going to be, because it is going to feel a lot different. All right. Streams. You guys ready? This is the best news of all. You will not have to pay a single cent anymore for any entertainment. That's right. Now hear me out. You may be like, Bradley, you're crazy. What? No money? How are you- Bro, I'm sorry. The idea that a medical professional getting any sort of insight into this guy and his posting and the destruction it's caused his mental health would go, yeah, post away, dude. Good luck. <laughs> I'm. There's no way. Why would a doctor sign off on this and say, yeah, oh, that thing that causes you severe mental distress. Yeah, keep doing that, actually, while you're trying to figure stuff out. Bro, what? I feel like this is, like, absurd. Wasn't that the whole point of taking a break? You're also, what's this part here? Right. Streams. You guys ready? This is the best news of all. You will not have to pay a single cent anymore for any entertainment. That's right. Now hear me out. You may be like, Bradley, you're crazy. What? No money? How are you supposed to make money? That's the thing. It's not about the money. It's about the art. You see, you see where I'm going here? Everything has become about the money. And what I'd like to do is take it back to basics, back to when there was no money, all right? Back to when all we had was our creativity and a right. platform to share that. So what Dude. I'm gonna be doing is any streaming, if you wanna suggest, you want a song in there, be my guest, all right? We, we're gonna be doing some community building and it's gonna be a beautiful thing. Um, the best part and the best news is that's all I have for you. That's it. What the Any fuck is this, dude? So you've spoken to doctors and family, and you're now making content and not charging money like you normally would. So you're. <laughs> this is like delusional. This guy's lost it, hasn't he? This is like severe psychosis or something, it looks like to me. <laughs> It's like mania, yeah. I just can't envision a medical professional, you know, wanting to promote this guy. 
doing the thing that, from my understanding, has been the architect of a lot of his mental health pain that he's had. No, <laughs> no, like a lot of this stuff, his breakdowns have been because of social media and because of his usage and and, and his work online. Who's his doctor? Who's <laughs> who's his bloody doctor? Judge shocked and appalled at the concept of making content for the joy of it rather than purely financial gain. Well, I say both. I enjoy it and I love making money. So we get the best of both worlds. Okay. You don't think it's far fetched? So you think a doctor might well be saying, might well have spoken to him and gone, listen, Brad, okay? Listen, mate. Here's the situation. Maybe the money is driving you insane. Why don't you try and get back to what you love to do? I suppose so. That could be possible. It just seems very odd to me. Like, I mean, I don't know the ins and outs here, obviously. But to me, watching the way this guy has had all of his issues, it seems a lot of it is fueled by the online world and interacting with the online world and streaming and stuff. Doctor probably wants it to re-engage with his hobby in a new fashion rather than cut him off completely first thing. If this also continues this trend, then may tend to cut off more completely. Mm. Okay, and that's plausible, okay, certainly. Okay, that's wonderful. It just, how do yeah, I, I don't know. How money Maybe. off depressed people? Cannabis is a common factor in these freakouts. It has legitimate medical uses and is less harmful than alcohol broadly, but THC can and does induce psychosis especially in those predisposed to psychosis. Thank you for the super chat. Also, um, if I'm understanding this correctly, where is he staying? Is this like his, his childhood home? Is that, what I'm, is that what I'm seeing here? So what, he's, he's moved back in with Mumsy. Does that explain the travel? Oh, but, but, like he doesn't want to admit that he's moved back in with his mother. So it's like, oh, I've got to travel four okay, hours to go wonderful. to rehab, guys. But how do I make money off depressed people? I can smell the drug-induced psychosis coming off him. <laughs> Illusions of grandeur, loose <laughs> thought associations, jerky body movements. If he went to a medical facility, he probs would have been sectioned. <laughs> Thank you very much for the $10. Yeah, it just he seems off. His whole behavior here just seems very manic and like not right. I don't want to do body language, Andy, exactly, but he just there's something not right about this dude. What's up, you guys? It's Bradley here. I'm home, and I actually have some great news for you. Oh, which is really nice to be saying. Uh, Wait, what was that? Here, I'm home, and I actually have some great news for you. Oh, which is really nice to be saying. Um, so, oh, uh, was after to discussing funny. it with my family and... Yeah, I don't know, dude. There's something not right here. I'm telling you. There's something amiss with all this. I don't know what it is. I could definitely understand maybe a doctor like being like, oh, do it as a hobby or go back to your art or something. Are there even doctors involved, though? Or has he just spoken to his parents and his parents are like, yeah, dude, move move back in with us. No problem. Also, another piece of evidence that I'd like to present to you all to consider in all of this, okay? <laughs> Dude, that is a crazy pause. Are you ready, guys? Be right back, breaking my lease and moving to Detroit. This tweet again, except this time it isn't a joke. Just got my key to the new place yesterday and I'll be back with all my stuff next weekend. Ooh, so it looks like him and his girlfriend. Okay, split that's up. wonderful. But how do I make Tina, money the famous the Tina? People? Thank you. Queen and Dino's with a JN and a crazy J mother. Okay. Dude, is there any more juice on the subreddit? The subreddit is actually a very good source of information for this guy.
Why would anyone move to Detroit? Well, about that, okay? About that. What is in Detroit, guys? What is in Detroit? What is there a preponderance of in Detroit? What is there a lot of in Detroit, would you say? <laughs> okay, come on. Let's not let's not let's not sully this coverage with BBCs, all right? All I'm saying is it's a possibility she's currently getting tatted up with the Queen of Spades. That's all I'm trying to say here. Okay. Wait, what? He did a Q and A. <laughs> what is going on, dude? This is not so. <laughs> no way. Muted, muted, muted. He's unmuting. Are oh, you still muted? This dude said no month, no content for two months, and now that's changed. And now he's doing weirdo, grainy streams with crazed hair, looking like a nutter. Hi. Oh, that's loud. <clears throat> Says I'm live. Am I live? I haven't been live in forever. Does anyone see me? Hello? Platinum Cherry? Anybody? Oh, there I am. Uh, so, what's up, you guys? Bradley here. Just uh, creating some uh, remixes um, and whatnot. Figured I'd just answer some questions. Um, what's up, DJ? Thank you. I got my DJ board that I put my computer on top of. How is everything right now? Um, sucky, but it's supposed to be because mm, people are helping me, so whatever. Give me a shout out. What's up, fam? Do I really have a Brad taste okay, in music? Wonderful. I do. But I do, do I have a Brad taste in music. And you know what? Brad we might always. Weed negatively affecting him, so he switched to crack for his mental health. Thank you for the five dollars. Let's have a Brad taste in music. I don't Did know I where fix he is. My anger, that's right. My anger is now officially gone, you guys. Uh no, I, again, like most Also, here's another thing as well. Is this part of like trying to ob obfuscate in some way or not deal with the fact that him and his missus have apparently gone their separate ways at the very least? All of this is so weird, dude. <laughs> None of this adds up to me. <laughs> he's at his Presumably, I'm guessing parents' house. Most personal questions, just the answer is somebody's helping me out. I'm getting help or whatever. So, ugh, am I back in my childhood bedroom? I am, and there's some new art in here. That okay, is. there we go. This is the original room. Thoughts on Diddy? Go. Very bad. Very bad. Right. Okay. So he's in his childhood bedroom. Ah, bro. I... <laughs> Where where my mother lives, I can't even get internet there, so I wouldn't even be able to do this. It's that fucking out of the way. Or the internet they got is like absolute like shit, so we wouldn't be able to do a stream on it probably. <laughs> also, like, look, got, oh, I don't want to be too harsh about this because I do think you can go for a situation. I think to be in Brad's position and the amount of money he was making and having your life crumble to the point that you've got to move back into your childhood bedroom. It's, you know, it's not even a slight on him. It's just indicative of a very severe mental issue, isn't it? Like, <laughs> he's back in his childhood bedroom streaming on 140p screen quality. Too. <laughs> yeah, like, he's lost a lot. He's lost a lot here. Does he even still have his old place that he could go back to? Or is that fucking settled now and that's gone now? Uh, can I re remix a girl with basket fruit with pop champagne? I would love to do that. Uh, I want to show you guys my, um, I wish I could show you guys the, the file, but everything's all slow because I'm streaming from a laptop and a pretty old one. Do I want to build a snowman? I really oh, wish I would, uh... Oh. 
What does that What does that mean in UK? To like, you just um, you don't adhere to the agreement between you and your landlord. Like, you got a six month lease, say, and you just leave early, and and you know, so pay whatever penalty or whatever you have to do. Is that right? Read Read better questions today. Like we call I think I saw a good one. early. I feel you are the best example of changing for the best. That's not a question, but thank you. Is your life truly a video game? Yeah. A little bit. When's the smile review coming out? Okay, hear me out. What if I just did a few regular reviews? You guys like offline stuff. Because right now, I cannot really stream all that long. Uh, just physically and mentally. I don't really have the energy to. Um, oh my god. <laughs> His social batteries need recharging, guys. <laughs> oh my god, bro, he's one of these. No, I can't sit on my chair and talk about music for a couple of hours because I'm absolutely crippled mentally. Come on, bro. But I feel like writing down and recording a review for uh, an album would honestly be really fun. We do have Nightbot commands, that's true. Man the Moon Volume 2. Yes, and I want to do a review of um, the first volume too. Because that first Kid Cudi album, I, it grew on me, then shrunk back down. There are bugs under your skin. Guys, I am not that crazy, okay? I'm not that crazy. <laughs> that's a Chud Logic classic. Are roses and reds and vi violets blue re for real? Dude, that's fucking Roses brilliant. and red, violets are blue for real? I guess so. God, I love these Nightbot commands. I missed them. Remix a rap money. I should do that. That's fun. First Manic Stream. <laughs> His first manic stream. It is not the first manic stream if it was one. Uh, <laughs> do I like cheese? Not really. I'm not really a big fan of cheese. Um, I lived in Wisconsin for a while. The cheese country. And I wasn't a big fan of cheese. Snail Yard. Uh, oh, that's not... Lana Del Rey is an anagram for anal Dude, it yard? Just, it, it feels like he's desperately trying to show that he's like normal. Right? When clearly there's something amiss, he's in his childhood bedroom, he's streaming on, you know, <laughs> what looks like a video from the fucking 90s, okay? Um, his missus has gone off somewhere else, n presumably because they've split up, but no confirmation of that. He was supposed to be going to rehab, but um, apparently he's now at his parents' house. Maybe that is just, who knows, bro. He said he's not going to do any content for two months, and now here he is streaming. Bro, it's quite clear that your life is like deteriorating around you. I don't think you can just go live and outline nothing's wrong, dude. <laughs> oh, I hate to finish on it. Remind me of the phone dating VHS tapes in the 80s. Yes, true. Hard. I don't think that's true. I mean, I guess it is true. Do I like image, uh, image, all, image all disc? I listened to two songs and then decided I can't do this crap because it was like music to review and I was just tired and I was like I want to go do something else uh, Brad Toast Intolerance <laughs> um, best TV show and why is it Franklin the Turtle uh, it's Twin Peaks right now and Ozark I'm watching Ozark with my mother and uh, that show is so intense that the panic of watching that show oh my god watching shows with your mother I mean dude he hasn't said to my knowledge, oh, I've moved back in with my parents, has he? It's like you got to piece it together from context clues and little things he says here and there. So he is definitely, to my mind, he's trying to obfuscate the true nature of what's happening here, right? Because he's not said any of this. He's not explained any of this. He, the last we heard, he's going to rehab. There's so many crazy things that happen in this show. Twin Peaks, though. Oh, my gosh. David Lynch. I almost said David Byrne. I, I said this before I get the two confused because they their art is actually like so universal in a way. Try watching Family Guy. Oh, I answered that, I guess. Try watching Family Guy. Thank you. Am I gonna re? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna re. So yeah, the, the, he was supposed to go into rehab. He said he's not gonna do any content for, for two months. He then releases a couple of tweets, then releases a video saying he's gonna be doing content for the love of the game, and he's in his parents' house in his childhood bedroom. Okay, that's wonderful. But how yeah. do I make money? I reckon this off is covered people? from moving back in with his parents because his relationships failed or something like that, probably. 
Like clearly that thing with his ex leaving, that would have been something that happened over a period of time. That's not something that just happened on the 15th of September or whatever the date of those okay, posts that's were. Okay, wonderful. But how right. do I make money Maybe two dollars. Nick Sweat. You can have moments of lucidity Thank you, and Spencer calm Howard. in the midst of a storm of psychosis. This reminds me of my worst psychotic episode. Glad I wasn't streaming. Thank you for the super okay, chat. wonderful. And tea. But how do I make money off depressed Thank you for the five dollars. Brad in a relationship equals insane and sad. Brad single equals happy and insane. Very Take true. Notes, vocals and incels. Memo. Clipboard. So I wonder if maybe maybe there's no medical professionals involved whatsoever. And as people were saying, the parents of the rehab. I mean, think about it, right? Mum is driving me across country to rehab. So what that would mean, Mumsy came all the way from where she lives to go to him. Like that, it makes more sense that Mumsy's come out because she's worried about him and wants to bring him home to look after him for a bit. You know. I don't know. Dude. Review everything 21 Pilots. I love their music. It's really good music that's also super mental health positive. So I would love to be able to give them their flowers as I think I'm finally mature enough to be. You know who actually really likes 21 Pilots? My uncle. I and mean, yeah, ob guys. I mean, this comes across like. <laughs> She's. Yeah. She's moving to Detroit. I'm assuming that part isn't a joke or she'd clarify. Why would she be moving to a different part of the country if they're still like together and solid? At the very least, you presume they're taking a break, right? My uncle's like one of the biggest ballers that's ever existed. So, you know, I think I'm finally accepting that like he has a point too. Ali, I saw your message. I'm so happy to see you. Oh my gosh. So letting you guys know that, um, Again, no streams are planned for the near future, but if there is one, I'm probably going to just do a free reaction stream where what's going to happen is mods are going to be there and we're all just going to sit around and listen to a bunch of stuff and it's going to be really casual and in terms of content, either reviews or whatever. But again, I'm focusing on myself. I can't promise you content. I can promise you getting myself help. I cannot promise you content, but the content that we are putting out right now, okay, it's pretty baller. Uh, I wish I could show you this uh, this song. I don't know if it'll play out loud if I if I if I cr uh, crank it. I posted it, but it's uh, I call it Little Darling. Let's see if it plays. Uh, oh my! God. This is another public service announcement there we go. brought to you in part by Slim Shady. Slim Shady does not give a fuck. Yesterday I changed the diaper, wiped him on powder. What is this? Is this his own music? <laughs> Bitch, and move again, oh I'll beat the shit out of you. Oh my god. Jack, play that back again. Sit down, bitch, and move again, I'll beat the shit out of you. Don't make me wake this baby. She don't need to see what I'm about to do. Quit playing, bitch. Why you always make me sound at you? Now play that back. Oh. Just leave me and I'm out the blue. Oh, it's a mashup. Yeah, I recognize the Eminem track. Right, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, anyway, content ID and all that. It sucks. Okay, it sucks wonderful. too. But it how sucks. do I make it's money terrible. off depressed people? Plot twist. Brad has new sponsorship with better help. Thank you for the five dollars. It, yeah, it's like a sort of oh look. Oh well the lyrics of this song don't go with the uh the instrumental of this song at all, do they? Oh that's very that's very funny, isn't it? Oh <laughs> No, it's the wrong here comes the sun. Ba -da -da -da. A coffee on me. Seven months, four months, 14 months. Thank you. Oh, it's still. Yeah, uh, thank you. I appreciate it, but also at the same time, no obligation to send me money. I just want to answer questions today. Let me find this because the official version is the uh, the best version. Yeah, here we go. Okay. This is another public no, service that's announcement. That's the version I just. No, okay. right, no. Right, right. Trust, trust, trust. Okay. Please. This is another public No. No. Am I doing that? It's no. Alive. No. Alive. No. <laughs> new nails. I've not listened to new nails. I've been too crippled by like. It's like he's fused. To... Dude, his mind is gone. If he thinks that's good. Doing stuff. I've literally not been separate. I, I hope you guys know this. The last two weeks, I've not been away from my mother. Like it has been me and my mother. 
And then we traveled the whole country, and now it's me, my mother, and my father. I have, like, no time to listen to anything that isn't, like, 80s. But I'll tell you what we are listening to, all right? Me and my mother, we were listening to, um... Okay, so, yeah, I... I, I what did I say? I said he's, like... It's, like... It's, like, a situation where he said that something's happening, and then something else is happening, which wasn't explained the first time round. And we've got to try and piece together what's going on. Because last time we heard you were going to rehab, and now you live, moved back in with your parents. Huh? You never mentioned that before. That's a new addition to your story, dude. Well, who is it? The lead singer made a... Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Forgot a name. Annie Lennox? And then uh, Joe's Garage. Annie Lennox. Yeah, that's who. Yeah. So we listened to Annie Lennox and uh, Frank Zappa's Joe's Garage. Whew! It looks like uh, we're reaching the 10 minute mark of this stream, which is where I'm going to actually log off. I think 10 minutes is a healthy amount of time to be streaming on a return, so. Dude. 10 minute. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minute stream. That could well be. That sounds like maybe a doctor said that to him. I don't know. Yeah, keep it limited. You know, to, to, maybe I don't know. Why ten minutes? I don't think I'll stay for long, but I want to wish you the best. Thank you, thank you. But um, why does it hurt when I pee? Anyway, I mean that's just the standard length for a normal commentary stream, isn't it? So. You know, you guys are probably accustomed to that sort of length, I'd imagine. I get it from the toilet seat. That is like my favorite song ever now. Little darling. Bro, you need to smoke something strong. Thank you. I appreciate that. Nothing you guys is going to say is going to turn me, get, get me into a, um, what is it? A rampage, if you will. Uh, because I actually am uh, surrounded literally non-stop okay, by great people, so there's very little you guys can say right now that's going to make me mad. And very I'm, I'm true. Thank you for five dollars. It's pretty good. Do I like Skibbity Toilet? Not really. That's a good question to end on, though. Uh, ain't you say you're going on break? I am posting fun little videos and going on break because, my God, I honestly got. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't think I'm ever gonna do another 16-hour stream, ever again in my life. Like, I've I've stepped I've stepped away from YouTube long enough to realize right. that sixteen hour streams, unless you're just sat there playing a game for that length of time, some <laughs> like yeah, don't do sixteen hour streams. Maybe don't. Maybe maybe call me crazy, guys. Maybe there's a point in between sixteen hour streams and ten minute streams that you can find a kind of equilibrium. Of time that is suitable for you and your and your sort of you know well-being and uh, activities. <laughs> Just I don't know. Do a four-hour stream. Four-hour streams are fine, you know. Chad's got it all figured out. Well, I mean, in terms of like balancing having time to do other things and make content, yeah, sure. I when I do a ten or eleven-hour stream, that's quite long normally. To be honest, he could just have moved him with his family to keep an on him. Away from enablers, perhaps girlfriend situation, without patient, it could be seeing a shrimp with somebody. Yeah, possibly. But but it's the describing of that as rehab. Like if I say to you, if I said to you, guys, I'm going to rehab. What would you think of that? What would be, what would your thought process be? I'm thinking, you know, time in a facility, not lock and key like your schizo, but you know. Like inpatient, inpatient care, because obviously the problem with outpatient rehab treatment is you've still got access to all of the things that you're fucking addicted to, potentially. So it's an odd word to use that you can just come and go as you please. Yeah, I, d I don't know. Just there's something missed about this whole story. This is not my uh, permanent home, you know? And um, that's that's a kind of a good thing, and I think it's going to result in a lot a better of an attitude overall. Yo, lots of gold. Thank you. 
Have you considered working at a library or something? I have considered doing volunteer work while I'm at the uh, rehab center. Uh, specifically, they have a place where there's like birds, like owls and stuff. I'm probably going to volunteer there. Um, I'm probably going to find temporary work after rehab uh, and work on DJing over the next two months. Oh my and hopefully God. get a job as a DJ. That's 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 the long term goal. In terms of the content, it's like I just want to post whatever and have a creative outlet, you know. And if it, there's a little extra cash that comes with it, then so so be it. Is Tina doing okay? Tina is doing good. She is literally with the probably the best people she could be with right now. She's safe. The blacks. They sure is showing her a good time. If she's happy, she's healthy. Um, seriously, so. Oh yeah, that's right. That's you know what? That's a pretty good question to end on. Twenty-four hour Roblox stream when? Not today. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Uh, I'll leave this up, this uh, this stream. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for tuning in. Um, last thing I'll mention is that uh, another project I'm going to be working on is a physical a physical tarot card deck. So my dad drew. Uh, yeah, I mean I've said this before, but DJing is a very difficult thing to get into, and it seems exceptionally naive to think that you can just flit off to a job in DJing. Dude, it's it's like it's it's probably harder to get into than streaming by by product of you needing to go somewhere to do it and then needing to build a profile and so on, right? At least streaming you can give it a go from your fucking bedroom or whatever. Whereas with DJing, the kind he's describing, you gotta to go to events and stuff and you gotta get your foot in the door and shit. Like you, yeah, you could probably get someone to let you spin some decks at some shitty event or something, but to actually make good money from it and build a career out of it, yeah, it's very difficult. Tarot cards. They're unbelievable. What we're going to do is we're going to print out 72 decks, sorry, 78 decks, 78 cards, and we are going to put them on cardstock, and we are going to cut them out. Stand the electric them, cube. Uh, and essentially put them in like a nice white bag, sign it, uh, and then every single bag, since there's only going to be 78 created, um, one card in each bag is going to be uniquely signed. And then I'm probably going to pedal it. What is this? Unbelievable. What we're going to do is we're going to print out 72 decks, sorry, 78 decks, 78 cards, and we are going to put them on cardstock and we are going to cut them out, hand make them, uh, and essentially put them in like a nice white bag, sign it. Uh, and then every single bag, since there's only going to be 78 created, um, one card in each bag is going to be uniquely signed. And then I'm probably gonna peddle that shit to my audience. <laughs> You're gonna open them up and it's gonna be a low quality product, I promise. <laughs> it's a big deck. Anyways, guys, it's probably a good time for me to get offline. Appreciate you all for being here. I'll see you next time. If there is a next time, probably. Just in terms of streaming. I'm because tomorrow tomorrow's the big day. I gotta wake up super early. I gotta go. So, you know. Just, yeah, stay safe. Appreciate the community. Um, there's a community post, and again, I'll probably be making these little remixes throughout the day. So if you want to be involved, uh, that's a great way to do it. Peace. Well, well, well. What else have we got here? We got his little stream. We got his song there. Okay. This looks like another stream. Hello, my name is Bradley Taste, and I would like to share with you this most amazing DJ mix I made. Hello, it's got a lot of swans. It's got a lot of waka flocka just, oh, just for you to DJ enjoy. Mix, Hello, I'm going to rehab soon. If you could tell, I really need it from this DJ mix. Enjoy. Okay, that's wonderful. I hope but I see you I soon. But until then, I hope. I mean, this is this is a content ID city, so I can't play this. What kind of music is that? I mean, I don't really listen to this kind of music. To it's not really my thing. So I'm like, 
is it bad because I don't like it or is it bad because it sucks even in this genre of music, you know? Okay, anyway, we can't listen to all of this. Anyway, I, you know, beyond a kind of cursory implication on his potential mental state, I don't know what we... we bleh, I'm not sure what we can really glean out of that. The mix is horrible. Okay. Right, yeah. Got it. Oh, is is it like a bit of like all oh, mixing stuff together that doesn't go as well, maybe? Is that what you're saying? Okay, guys. Um I mean I th I think that's it. The only other thing we might be able to glean something from is possibly his subreddit, which can sometimes be quite a good source of information on the guy because his fans are like very into this dude. Um, Brad sounded really happy in his new stream. If this becomes a lol... <laughs> oh no, dude! If this becomes a lol cow sub, I'm leaving and here's why. Oh no. Bro, you know things are going badly for you when people are posting about it possibly becoming a lol cow sub. What is going on? Fuck the haters, Brad. Brad won. Bro, is there some sort of internal Reddit drama? I suggest not holding your... <laughs> Dude, this community of tatters. I suggest not holding your breath. Well, I mean, I guess people are probably thinking this guy said he was taking a break and he's doing content again. What is going on? Yeah, look, this is what I was trying to say earlier. I do think it's plausible that maybe they're saying, you know, have a bit. Because the thing is, is this does miss the point a bit, though. I ran it by my family and medical experts, and they said I can keep doing some crack. I'll even do it for free now. I mean, some rehab programs do involve controlled, controlled usage of the substances that you're addicted to. So it could be it's plausible, right? Like, you go to rehab sometimes, and it's not like they go... Right, you can't have anything now. I mean, in some cases, like with alcoholics, for example, you could, if you're, if you're a very, I mean, crack, sure, that maybe that's a bad example, but with alcohol, you could actually die if you're, if you're a giga alcoholic, if you stop taking it completely, you could die because your body is actually reliant on it to some level. You can get like the shakes and have seizures and stuff. So you know, it can be true sometimes that they'll give you a little bit of what you, what you like, so to speak. So I don't know. It's funny where we're putting it, but maybe, possibly. I want to look at a positive here. Oh my god, dude! I think it's time to completely disengage. <laughs> oh my god, this is gold. Was Brad's content ever good? Brad, please take a break. Brad, be like. Well, hey there. I'm back. Except I was never really gone to begin with. Well, hey there. <laughs> yes, dude, exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. He said he was going to be gone for two months. Yes, exactly. What's the new Brad V. Rackfeed? Oh, yeah, we've seen this. Should I make a video comparing the ending of Midsommar with the ending of Whiplash? Bro, it's not even his content. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> He's talking about doing a video essay about two movies. I'm, I, know, I know Midsommar. That's a good movie, actually. But I don't know Whiplash. What happened to Rehab, man? Oh, no. Why does Brad refuse to see a therapist? Brad said he's going MIA for as long as he can. Wait, what? I missed that. Brad is saying he is going MIA for as long as he can. What was that? Please tell me that's archived somewhere. Oh, this one we saw. Tina's moving to Detroit. Has also unfollowed Brad on X. 
Brad has n- now has also now unfollowed Tina. They're no longer Umphies. No, they're no longer Umphies, guys. That's it. Oh, is Whiplash the one about drumming? Is that the Whiplash one where the guy's a drummer? Ah, yeah, I've seen uh, like little bits, clips of that and stuff around the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, how is that like Midsommar? Midsommar is about a woman who's going through like a mental episode or like very depressed because of her sister topping herself and her parents and gets roped into a cult in um, Norway or Sweden or wherever, with some fucking Nordic country. Wait, how is that even comparable, dude? It's like a horror movie. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is so good, dude. <laughs> You're just going to have to wait for the Brad video and see. Yes, yeah, true. Dude, this guy's not well. There's something terribly wrong with you in all of this. Wish the best. I actually feel bad. Yeah. Someone please steal Bradley's phone laptop before it's too late. Dude, I, bro, I, this, I think this tweet's gone now. I couldn't find it when I had a look. See, this is what you miss when you're not looking at stuff. If you're wondering why I'm still tweeting, it's like how a crack addict uses all their crack before going to rehab. It's If it sounds bad, it is, but it's canon to the human experience of denying other problem before I go to rehab. Dude, if you're going... Wait, what? I don't, I don't know if that's how it goes, necessarily. Holt, I have a few questions about what you've liked over the content of the last two years. You can answer anonymously or not. He went live. He went live on Insta. Dude, this is nuts, dude. People are confused. Dude, this is the problem you've got is... Oh. Oh. I actually want to get the new Pixel. I've been looking at the Pixel Fold. Maybe. That might be good. Anyway, sorry. The ad is, the ad is targeted very well, clearly. So that's good. Anyway, I think I've, I've seen these, this stuff. I've seen all these already. Yeah, look, you can see I've clicked on these before. New Pixel, guys. New consuming to do, guys. So, yeah, no, this looks pretty dire. It looks like his uh, community is, uh, you know, uh, the, the problem you've got is people need to know what you're doing. They need to know not where you are at all times, but it's like they need to know what's going on and you need to be consistent in what you say. So if you say, right, guys, I'm going to be away for two months, you need to commit to that and be away for two months. Right, you don't get, say you're going to be away for two months and then act completely incoherently to what you said without at least explaining what's going on in a reasonable way. So yeah, of course it's going to cause confusion and people are going to be like, "What is going on?" The spa. The spa. Okay, so live streaming right now. Just want to answer a few questions, okay? I'm up at six in the morning. My mother's asleep. I figure. This is one one other street. People respond pretty well, I guess, if they just hear me speak from the heart. So uh, I like YouTube. I like doing YouTube. What's up, you guys? I'm gonna go out to the pool deck. I mean, this looks like it's um, it's it's some sort of ho- like this is where he's staying at a hotel while he's driving across country, right? But um, I enjoy what I do a lot, actually, so much. I'm realizing that the more that I do outside of my work, that I like my work, I like not doing my work as well. Dang, why did I just put my hotel key? I kind of need that, don't I? Hope I didn't like put it down in the gym. 
I, I can't show that art. That's nudity on there. What's up? Am I a Twin Peaks fan? Oh my God, am I a Twin Peaks fan? Let me put it like this. Not only am I a Twin Peaks fan, okay? David Lynch and David Byrne, I think, are the same person. All right? That's, that's my theory. David Lynch and David Byrne are the exact same person. Have you ever listened to Talking Heads and been like, you know, I can kind of see this in a Twin Peaks episode? They're the exact same. Show me your hotel key. I wish it was that easy to rob me. But I'm pretty sure that I put the hotel key in the um, in the gym and then left the gym because I was distracted. I mean, admittedly, I've, I've actually never seen Twin Peaks before. Never seen it before. But, you know, I'm partial to a bit of talking heads. And uh, I'm not, I mean, knowing what I know about Twin Peaks, that sounds a bit absurd. Distracted. I look good. Thank you. Good morning. Oh my God, it's Dre Rock. How you been? Speaking of Dre Rock, um, I want to study some music stuff. I want to go back to college. All right. Okay. That's the long-term goal. People are like, what's, what's the goal after rehab? First of all, rehab. So, and yes, I am on the run. I'm currently in um, New Mexico. Anyways, uh, plan is get out of rehab, get a job DJing, make topic videos or whatever. And then, like, you know, to have YouTube have other stuff going on, too. Brr, scanning wallpaper. Brr, triangulating location found. Oh, no. Ah, That's crap. Funny. It's the police. Run. <sighs> it's not the police you got to worry about. It's those darn Kiwi farmers that you got to worry about. <sighs> Oh, God. You know what I just realized? It's New Mexico I'm in, and I'm not even hey, using a filter. Hey, thank you for the sub, 617. Bro, I'm not even like it. I'm, I'm not doing this right. What are the implications of on the run? Um, it would imply that I'm running from the police. Bro's tweaking. Uh, a little, a little bit. Tweaking off the fact that I fell hey, asleep when I thought I wouldn't but last night. <laughs> It's like 11 o'clock. I was like, I'm not falling peaks. asleep. And I woke up and I was like, hey, hey, look at that. Uh, Walter White moment. I know. You know I'm lying because I don't have the filter. I know. Uh, anyways, I just want to make a quick live because um, I actually do have a long-term plan now. I have uh, long-term goals, which is really cool, really exciting. I didn't have that before. W goals. Hell yes. Take off your clothes. Hey, listen, I need money right now, okay? Oh, okay. So thanks to Kiwi Farms for this. They um, don't have a document of the video. I've already got uh, a word on what was said. So this is from the Reddit. So we're not going to find that video. I don't think if it's not there. The video is private here, but it was basically just him saying what's in the title. It was less than a minute long. Here's the pinned comment before we private to the video, since I do think it's important. To answer a couple of quick questions, rehab in three days, they require you to be abstinent from substances, and I'm counting posting of online officially as part of that. Well, that's not gone very well, has it? I wanted to double down on the importance of me going offline, since I already was trying to get back on the saddle again before even getting to rehab. Bro, I knew it! I bloody knew it. I knew, I knew that there was something amiss with all of this. So he is supposed to be going offline by his own logic, but he hasn't. So it is part of the online stuff that causes his issues in his own mind, at least. Hey, I, <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, okay? I can afford rehab, but it requires taking money out of all the smart investment accounts that I've been putting all my money into and not working. And it makes me go, <laughs> makes me go, Ugh. Makes me go, ugh, you know? Nobody wants to spend money. Everybody wants to make money. <laughs> uh, point being though, I gotta spend money to get help so that I even wanna make money. <laughs> hey, you answered the forum, thank you. Uh, that's about all I got for you guys. That's, that's it for the live. Thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you, Dre Rock, for being here as well. And uh, yeah, stay safe. That's it. I mean, obviously, we've done it a bit out of sequence, but, you know, 
It's like a Quentin Tarantino. Imagine we're in a Quentin Tarantino movie, okay? So this was a few days ago. And then obviously the other stuff's more recent. This is presumably when he was traveling cross country. It's like Memento. Yeah, exactly. So from what I can gather then, he's living with his parents, possibly at some sort of outpatient rehab, but no confirmation of that. Um, incoherent kind of like actions, wanting to get offline, but then finding excuses to stay online, doing short streams, 10 minute streams. He split up with his, his girlfriend. She's moved to Detroit, apparently, or somewhere, at least, even if that was a joke. Um, Seems very mentally ill, very unbalanced, very incoherent and schizophrenic in the, in the more casual usage of it. Layman's usage. What else? Yeah, just, bro, very weird, very odd. Very strange. Okay, so, okay, I feel like before we watch this video, we do need to contextualize it. In fact, I'm not going to show the tweets, just take my word for it. I don't have them to hand, okay? But long story short... Brad Taste in Music put out a tweet and he said that he'd been kicked out of rehab or wasn't doing rehab after the first day. That, that apparently that was a joke. So apparently he was joking about that. And then he got a bit of criticism for like mocking the plight of mental illness or something, right? If you got the links to the tweet, stick them in the Discord. It's kind of irrelevant really because this is what we're interested in is this yet another minute long video in which... He's in tears. What? <laughs> dude, this guy is unreal, bro. What is going on with this dude? The Brad tent never ends. Hi, guys. So I was crying, so I apologize for looking like a total mess. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say that... <laughs> Over the gambit. I'm sorry for crying, guys. I'm sorry. I was crying a minute ago. This guy, this guy is NGMI. Not going to make it defined. Uh, recently, I've been just like clawing, trying to survive and keep my platform instead of getting help. And um, I think a big reason is because I'm just scared that I've lost my community and everything I've built. And And you know what? A lot of it is selfish. A lot of it is like, I deserve this. Womp womp. Dude. This... These people need real problems in their lives. Some of these people need to be put in a fucking sore trap, dude. It's like, th this is really what you're crying about? Really? But also a lot of it's like, I, I care about the community and I, um... I need help. I need to get offline. And I just want some reassurance from some people who care about me that, like, you'll be there when I'm gone. Or when I come back, I mean. Because I want to do this the right way. But I'm I'm scared. And I, I just wanted to ask for um, a little help and reassurance. And that's all. So thank you. Uh, if, if you do leave some, um, I appreciate you. Bye. Dude, I keep. I need to stop doing this. I watch like a movie clip on my fucking mm. Chud Logic YouTube account, and it keeps get recommending me other. Uh, no, this isn't for that. I don't want to watch another clip of a few good men. Okay, please. Anyway, this guy is. Oh my, this is like unbelievable, dude. He's done another video crying, begging his audience for validation. I'm telling you, I, I my when I looked at this yesterday, I was questioning the rehab thing. And I'm like, is it even real? He seems to be at his parents' house. What's happening here? And now this gets uploaded where he's crying to his audience, begging for validation. Yes, he's serious. You know, yesterday, obviously, I was like kind of questioning him being on social media. But, you know, it is feasible that maybe... He's like having a bit of it or something, a bit like an alcoholic needs to be tapered off alcohol. Can't just go cold turkey if they're really bad. But this is just more completely absurd behavior, crying to your audience, begging for validation that they're not going to leave you. Like this guy has got so invested in the alternate side of this like parasocial relationship, right? Where he feels like his community is like his friends or something and he wants validation from them. 
obviously it's nice when people say nice things about you and it's irritating when people say wrong things about you or criticize you potentially but you would never beg your audience for validation like really bro speak to your mates he's with his parents isn't he go and talk to your fucking parents dude and figure it out why are you crying on your fucking video about this This guy is buck broken. True. Womp womp. <laughs> also, you do have to contextualize this as well, I think. Obviously, I mean, I think it's just retarded behavior. I'm not condoning this. I think that probably, and this is, I feel, something he's tried to kind of like avoid addressing or talking about or something like that. Obviously, he's split up with his missus. Well, she's fucked off to Detroit. To see Deshaun or something, presumably. So he's probably struggling a bit with that and dealing with that as well. I mean, what is the response like on this? I'll be here for you, Brad. Come on, we want to see the newest first. That's where the real juice is. This, this is the problem. This attachment, this need for assurance and validation. Oh my God. Wait, is this someone that's watching me? They can't be. It's quite a long comment. This isn't, this isn't one of you, is it? They're literally making the same points I was just making. Yep. I oh know this looks like someone that's just part of his audience generally. Brad, please just get offline. Dude, all these people that are like, you know, backing him up and stuff. Like, don't they understand? You're like enablers in some way. <laughs> I don't know. You can't really say that they're responsible necessarily for this broad effect. But all these people that are like saying, yeah, you don't worry, Brad, we love you. It's kind of like the reverse of a creator pushing on like excessive parasocial relationships. Like, I don't know, stuff I would say, like the girlfriend experience, I think is part of something I would say with that, you know, or I don't know, dude, I can't think of an example, but he's like, it's the other way around where they're kind of like, yeah, we love you, man. We love you. Fuck me, dude. He, no, sure. I don't, that's why I'm saying, I don't think I would look at those and be like, you're responsible for this, but it's like they can't conceptualize the idea that maybe it's not good for him to do this. Maybe you should not be praising him and saying how great he is, and you should probably be taking a step back. Dude. This apparently is a deleted tweet. I'm currently in my confessions of a dangerous mind phase. My art and expressions are grossly tied to mania for money, the internet, and fame. My goal is to get to the ultra 85 Okay, phase. that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Brad was never like this. The Zionists put a curse on him. Possibly. I think it was the 333. Where I'm stable and making stuff that speaks to and for me and helps others. Um, okay. <laughs> do what? <laughs> This is, this is this is like this is the mania again, isn't it? Like the the insanity. Yeah, well, that's why I think this this whole rehab thing is very questionable, and I'm skeptical about the whole thing. Because he's supposed to be at rehab, but then it's outpatient. But he's had to travel cross country to get there. Just so happens to now be staying with his parents. Maybe it could be they organise one close to the parents' house, perhaps. Dude, he's not a reliable narrator at the very least. Hang on a minute. I think I recognise. Wait, I recognise this name. Brad should really listen to his audience about mental health disorders. 
considering how much experience they have living with personality and mood disorders. I know this. I know this account. I've seen this account before. It's a good meme and it's true. I feel like this might be someone that's again watching my stream, but I'm not 100%. Who is this person? I know who this is. I've seen this name. Oh, it's Deeper Armor. Yo, that's hilarious. Okay, that's wonderful. Oh, but just uh, just someone that um, talks about my Discord. Like Josh Sometimes it's in chat. Take advantage of our healthcare options. Chud fans are everywhere. We're like Mossad. We're like Mossad agents popping up everywhere. What's your mobile phone? What's your battery? Is it a battery or is it a little block of C4? You'll never know until it's too late. Does anyone know if Brad has BPD? Wow. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> It's just mind blowing to me. The, these are his fans that are posting this. <laughs> Breaking my silence as a fan of Brad since 2018. I did not want to post this, but I ain't reading all that. Dude, Deep is so correct. These people are all riddled with mental illnesses themselves. I feel like shit for giving this guy money. I was a regular patron of Brad's by giving him money to listen to music that I liked or hated. I must have spent around 200 bucks in total over the span of a few months to have this guy listen to music, as well as a few dollars here and there for Super Chats. I thought his commentary was funny, but I have a theory that people who do YouTube or Twitch for a living have some kind of a... <laughs> Wait, what? Have some kind of horrific personality problem we don't see on screen that prevents them from working a legitimate job. I'm getting mocked by Grand Beasley right now. <laughs> okay, that is probably true of some people, but I can assure you, okay, if I wanted to, I could take my CV down to the local whatever office and just get a normal job. I promise you I'm normal, okay? <laughs> Over the years, I've seen countless YouTubers and Twitch streamers being exposed as horrible people, whether they're predators, abusers, or terrible people in general. I was hoping that, that wasn't the, this wasn't the case with Brad, but it turns out it absolutely was. I have no idea how Brad is going to recover from this. His career is probably over. And he doesn't know how to log off. He has no college degree since he dropped out to pursue YouTube. And good luck trying to find a legitimate job because the guy basically destroyed his digital footprint like every other person who does commentary channels does. And employees very much look at that during the hiring process. Oh, that's true, actually. I could be fucked for that reason if they look and see. Mr. Logic, we've been looking at your... Uh, you mentioned that you've been doing YouTube for the past few years. Um, could you just explain to us, what's a rape review exactly? Dude, his fans are not happy. Only this man okay, would have the wonderful. confidence to make this much of a fool himself on camera. Depress people. Forget the COVID epidemic. Now we have a BPD epidemic. Very true. Proust. Thank you. Do you all think Brad is gooning to sympathy comments he's accumulating with the I need reassurance of my fans, please comment video he just made? <laughs> oh my God, dude, these people are crazy. Thoughts on Brad's latest video? Personally, I don't know how to feel about the video yet, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Shut up, dude. Imagine if you knew nothing about this and you were just scrolling through trying to piece together what's going on. Manic? Question mark. Shouldn't Brad be an inpatient at this point? It's time to be real, Brad. Brad called a random AOTY user a pedo for telling him his reviews feel artificial now. This is the last straw. Yeah, this dude is so fucked, man. It's unreal. 
This is his own fans that are saying this stuff. Not as it, This is the kind of shit you'd see on a fucking snark subreddit. But no, this is his own, well, his fan subreddit. I think he deleted his own one. Mental. But yeah, guys, um, that's it, I think, for the Brad 10. I know there's only a few scraps there. But no, that's pretty fun. Dude, this guy's fucked. He is cooked. Yeah, I mean, what more is there to say? I, I think my, my thought process about his rehab is, you know, probably probably going... I think there's something there. I think there is probably something in that. Is it his parents, split up with his ex? Is he actually going to rehab? Is it a therapy thing? Is he disrepresenting it? Can't wait for Chud's BPD arc. Well, despite what you may think, I'm actually quite mentally well-balanced. So, <laughs> hopefully, make touch wood. Fingers crossed, okay? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Who knows? I might have a full schizo melt breakdown. Fuck up. Who, who knows? I do have a bit more Brad tent, but I think that I've already done it. I did this yet. Yeah, I did this yesterday, didn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's up, you guys? Brad. I did this yesterday. Oh. Oh, what's up, you guys? Uh, earlier today, I lied to you. I said I got kicked out of rehab. This is my video saying I did not. I instead went to rehab. That's right. I went to rehab and I didn't get kicked out. It's true. Or is it? Bro, I'm telling you. His rehab story doesn't make sense. And... Remember yesterday, I was saying about how the rehab stuff's like, what's going on here? Stuff like that. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Is there another thumb-sucking whale on Twitch trying to outwhale me? Thank you for the $5. Appreciate it. Musty. No, it's all good. Listen. Wait, what? Queeman stream playing? Oh, what's up, you guys? Uh, earlier today, I lied to you. I said I got kicked out of rehab. This is my video saying... Where? Okay, okay. ...video saying, I did not. I instead went to rehab. That's right. I went to rehab, and I didn't get kicked out. It's true. Or is it? I think the person recording was... Oh. Right. No, so the person recording is watching Cream at I was about to go, wait, what? Brad is watching himself get, <laughs> get raped by Cream at <laughs> Oh, dude. I, I just think there's an incoherency to his entire story. Split him with his ex. I like I don't know, dude. What this just adds weight to the this just adds weight to the fire for me that like there clearly is something amiss with this story. There's obviously an issue that he isn't presenting to us. And now there's this thing where he says he's not, he got kicked out of rehab and then he does this other video, which adds further sort of flames to the fire of like, what is actually going on? I don't, well, is he lying? I, yeah, I don't, I, I feel like he's kind of keeping the truth away a bit. I don't know if it's like lying, but he's definitely playing fast and loose with details. Oh, what's up, you guys? Uh, earlier today, I lied to you. I said I got kicked out of rehab. This is my video saying I did not. I instead went to rehab. That's right. I went to rehab and I didn't get kicked out. It's true. Or is it? I, I just think my, my theory on this is that he's actually gone to his parents' house, hence why he's in his like childhood bedroom. And he doesn't want to admit that. So he's come up with a cock and bull story about rehab to justify it. 
Like his mother, his mother drove all the way down to what? Pick him up to drive him back so we can go to rehab there. Why not, why not get something closer to home? It's not like he stole a bunch of money and is getting away with it. Brad's crime has been a bad friend and being cringe. He doesn't need to give everyone every detail about time. DK, you're being very uh, gracious to the Spurks today, I must say. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. I, I mean, look, I'm sat here and I'm not, I'm not like, this guy is like a real bad dude, right? It's like, he's obviously obfuscating and I think pulling some tricks with the truth. It's more so my personal interest in knowing what he's up to and wondering why the need for this kind of obfuscation, you know. But yeah, I'm, you know, I don't think he's like a bad guy necessarily. I mean, this community kicking off about it is funny. Like, it's just funny to me. It's like his community are so upset at him. And it's like, I don't know, dude, what's he done? He's obviously just a complete manic freak. <clears throat> no it's fine listen i i you know i just my his whole thing is it's funny to me i'm not like this guy's a real bad dude and needs to be exposed it's just more so for me it's like you know it's just a bit nutty he's acting like a bit of a nutty dude yeah i i just i just think yeah he's probably being somewhat deceptive in regards to this whole rehab thing. And I, I don't think we're seeing the full truth of the situation. And I do wonder if maybe we're going to see that one day and he's going to come out and be like, guys, the truth is I'm with my parents. But that's my theory. And the fact that he's not really mentioned or spoken about the fact that him and his ex have split up, despite her being a very prominent part of their content at times and it being a big aspect of his life to his audience. Fuck all music theory nerds. <laughs> I, I'm not okay, this bad, actually. Wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? First time I hear of a junkie lying to cover himself. Hey, thanks for the 333. Appreciate it. Not a cop. Anyway, yeah, I mean, you know, that's, what, that's all there is, really. Just kind of theories about what he's doing. I don't think he's a bad guy. It's kind of just funny to laugh at him and, and the absurdity of him revealing so much about himself so consistently.